Do trend following systems work in modern markets? Welcome back friends, traders and investors for another episode of Trading System Lab. Today we are exploring a trend following strategy that I've been working on, which trades three key ETFs, the DIA, the QQQ and the SPY. I have created a portfolio of three ETFs. We use monthly data and we test on the past 25 years. Whenever we get a signal, we invest 33% of our equity. The equity curve is interesting. It's always above the benchmark, the dark black line. However, it's dark green most of the time, which actually indicates that there's a lot of exposure in that strategy. Another thing that you can easily see in the equity curve is which symbols you are invested in. So if you hover your mouse over, you can see that there's none here and this changes all the time. So you can see that down there. This is pretty interesting. Let's have a look at the key metrics. The profit is 388,000. The annual percentage return is 6.8% compared to 6% of the benchmark. The sharp ratio of the 11 month system is 0 0.52, showing better risk adjusted returns than the benchmark with 0 0.33. The profit factor of 6 indicates that every dollar lost in the strategy gained over $6 in return. In the extended scorecard, we can see that the longest drawdown was 32 months, whereas the benchmark had 75 months. Let's walk through the entry rules step by step to set up our strategy. First, open the building block window. This is where we'll create the logic for our strategy. Scroll down to the desired condition for this strategy. We are using indicator crosses indicator condition. Click on the indicator cross indicator condition, hold down the mouse and drag it onto the workspace. Make sure to position it on top of the entry condition. Customize the condition to set up the specific rule. In this case, we want the condition to trigger when the close crosses over the standard moving average with a period of 11. Since this rule resides within the buy at market building block, a buy signal will be generated as soon as the close crosses above the standard moving average 11. We do the same thing just the other way around. And instead of saying close crosses over, we say close crosses under the moving average. So let's verify our trades. So let's see whether the strategy is doing what we wanted it to do. First thing we're going to do is we go to positions. From there, we click on a position and WorldSlab will open exactly the place where that uh, position took place. In our case, it was March 23. And as you can see, the close was just above the moving average. And that's when we bought on the very next day ready for a long move up from about 300 to now 493. And here's an exit. On the bar before here, it looks like it crossed, maybe it crossed it, but it didn't. As you can see, the moving up average was at 362 something and the close was at 363. So just above, so there's no exit. But the next day we actually have a clear exit and we exited at the uh, open of the then following day. Forgot to mention on the right hand side, we see the monthly returns grouped by the months of the year. So we can see in November, this has been the strongest months. And if this seasonality holds up this year, then we will see a very good month this year. Especially since we have three open positions that seem to be far away from crossing the moving average. Of course, you can ungroup them and then you see the results of all the months. Another good basis for a strategy. And if you want to find out more, here's the meta strategy, which shows the equity curve of every single ETF that we were using. And you can also see the correlation in the meta strategy. Meta strategy is a fantastic tool. We talk about it on November 5th on the free webinar. So please register. The link is down there. Thanks for joining and always remember, test smart, trade smarter. Thanks.